morning, everyone. I'm Greg Gillio, the principal of Homestead High School. And on behalf of the admin team here at Homestead, we'd like to welcome you to our back to school night for the 2021 school year. Um, I'm gonna take a minute here to have my team introduce themselves to you. Uh, but again, I'm Greg Gillio. I'm the principal. I've been here for about eight years. And so I'm gonna kick it over to my team. Hi, everyone. Thanks for being here tonight. My name is Brian Dong. I'm one of three assistant principals. Uh, I'm gonna be starting my eighth year at, at school school as an administrator, and uh, my primary responsibilities include activities, athletics, AP testing, technology, and the school master calendar. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Back to School Night. Um, I'm Trisha Goulet. I'm the executive assistant here. Um, I'm going into my ninth year here at Homestead, and um, you will, there's many opportunities for you to reach out to me, um, but you will be receiving email messages from me regularly through the weekly blast and the week ahead. Um, and I am here really to support the entire admin team and the staff here. Welcome. Hi everyone, I'm Terry Hannigan and this is my first year as an assistant principal at Homestead High School. Um, my primary responsibilities are our intervention programs as well as state testing. Hi everybody, I am Anthony Nguyen. I, uh, this is my first year here at Homestead High School and I am Dean of Students, responsible for students A through L, and we are here to support teachers, students, and parents. Hola, my name is Maria Trejo and I'm the Dean of Students here at Homestead. This is my second year and some of my responsibilities are obviously school campus, climate and culture, our equity task force team, and also outreach to our Spanish-speaking community through Los Padres. Welcome. Hello, Mustang families. My name is Jeff Wright, and I'm an assistant principal here at Homestead High School. I'm starting my 14th year here in the district, but my first year at Homestead. We look forward to helping you with guidance and scheduling issues across the year, and please don't hesitate to call. Hi there everyone, I'm Toby Mockler. I'm the facility manager here at Homestead High School. I'm entering my third year here. Uh, my department, we support the whole school. Anything to do with uh, teacher support, student support, grounds, facilities, we're in it. Uh, we all have a great year. So now that you've met our team, I uh, just wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of the year. Uh, you know, hopefully in a little bit, you're going to be, after this video is over, you're going to go and visit your uh, students' classes, and you should be finding those videos for those classes on your teacher's Schoology pages. So please go and check those out. There's a lot of good information. Our, our uh, teachers and staff have been doing a really amazing job in getting the year prepared. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, stuff coming at you from all angles and coming at us from all angles. So I'm really proud of the way our staff has, has met the challenge and is providing a really robust and rigorous academic year for your students. Uh, you'll notice right away that we have a lot more synchronous learning going on, um, that there is a lot more time in class, uh, as well as time out of class for students to do work and to make connections. Uh, a couple things that I would definitely point out to you that are helpful for you and your students are the uh, use of office hours. So in our schedule, when you see office hours, that is a time for your student to connect with teachers to get help and support uh, when they're not understanding something or maybe need to make up tests. So please encourage them to use those times. Uh, you'll also be seeing every Wednesday as an advisory in the morning from 9 to 10, and that's a chance for our students to make connections with each other, connections with the teacher, as well as to provide some, uh, be provided with some whole school learning. Uh, then we're gonna be looking at topics such as anti-racism, uh, mental health support, uh, and even just general check-ins, guidance. We'll be doing a rally next week. Um, so there's a lot of things that we'll be doing throughout the entire time with advisory. So we're really looking forward to getting to know your students in a whole different way. Um, I'm gonna share my screen with you because I have a couple of presentations that I would like to show you. Um, first off, uh, we are looking at uh, giving you information that's gonna be a parcel tax on the ballot uh, again this year. Back in 2004, there was uh, the original parcel tax was scheduled. It was $98 per parcel. Uh, that parcel tax brings us about $5 million a year. And we use that for teacher salaries and academic programs. Uh, we provide stewardship of those funds, uh, but it is set to expire here uh, in two years. So we are looking to put that back on the ballot. 
um, and I have to make sure I'm in the right screen to move forward. There we go. So it's called that Measure M. It will be on the ballot in November. It's going to be renewing the existing $98 tax. We are not looking for an increased amount, um, but this does allow us to give us some money to count on uh, when we're trying to attract and retain highly qualified teachers and staff. Um, Again, this is the wording that you'll see on the, the, the ballot when it comes out there. I won't read the whole thing, but it just basically goes through that information. But just so you're familiar with it when you see it, that the district is asking for the $98, which again brings us about $5 million uh, annually for eight years. Um, this is, you know, goes towards our dedicated staff, as you have seen most of them out there working super hard to get this year open for us. Um, that's our own Dan Usim up there next to the car and the computer. So. Uh, again, our staff out there working hard for you to keep, A, keep everyone safe, but also keep the school year running uh, it, it smoothly as possible. Another thing that we're looking at is um, we are doing a lot of work with our maintenance and safety to keep the school safe when and if we return. Uh, we don't know when that's going to be just yet, but there's been a lot of work to provide high level filters and to really work with the HVAC system. So that is something that we've been providing. As well as you can see, there are, are safety measures uh, going on in terms of putting up plastic or, or, or plexiglass uh, shield there so that when people come up to talk to our staff that they're safe and we're safe as well too. Um, you might be asking, well, didn't we just vote for something most recently? And that was something that we truly appreciate is our district bond program. The bond program goes towards facilities uh, and so uh, you can see there's programs going on at every single site at Homestead. Uh, we just completed our brand new uh, GSS, their Guidance Student Services building, which is our main office, is where all of us are sitting right now. Uh, but we're also going to be modernizing buildings over the next several years. Uh, but you can also see some of the work that's happening across the district, including um, at our adult ed. Um, again, there's just some of the pictures of, of uh, the buildings that are going up. That's our, our picture over there. Um, where we are been doing some of our early work. Um, again, more pictures of the construction that's going on. Um, and so again, we know that uh, this has been a challenging year and a time for our community, but we ask that you go to the, uh, to the ballots in November and make sure that you're voting. So again, that's Measure M coming out uh, really soon. So please keep an eye out for that. A um, couple other things I want to present to you, our PTSA, there's a lot of ways that our parents can get involved at school, one of which is our PTSA. Uh, they are a very uh, in engaged and invigorated group. Um, they are here to help us make Homestead a whole lot better place. Uh, and their goal is to support your student's journey through their education. And so they do a lot of areas where um, they help us out. And again, you see this little puzzle piece they have over there. Um, there are several groups of parents that work together. One of them is our, is our own Homestead PTSA. They deal with things on our campus. There is the Fremont Union High School uh, District Foundation, which I'll talk about in a little bit, uh, but they handle things across the, the, the district. Uh, and we also have um, our athletic boosters or music boosters who uh, help sp uh, support some of our very specific programs. Um, some of the things that the PTSA does, like I said, they're very busy on our campus. They do a lot of things. Uh, they have given money to our, our academic departments uh, to help us prepare for remote learning. And a lot of the take-home kits that you're seeing have been uh, provided but from funds by them. Um, they are also, throughout the year, will approve staff and club grants to try and make sure that all the activities that we're planning and all the things we're trying to do get actually do take place. Um, they have been helping out with things like tutoring and translations. Uh, they're looking for opportunities for your students where they can get volunteer uh, time. Uh, they've also been really instrumental in creating some panels for us to get information out to you. We, we just did one recently on athletics and clubs. Uh, we'll be doing one on technology. Uh, they've talked about the transition to high school and there'll be more of those to come. Uh, you may have also heard that our, our PTSA is organizing a parent mentorship program where some of our veteran parents are helping our newer parents uh, adjust to life in high school and adjust to you know remote learning. Uh, so that's been a really great program. So uh, hopefully you see the ads for that. If you're interested in joining, you can see that on their website. Um, they also will bring out uh, educational and speaker events for our parents and our students. Uh, so they'll do that throughout the year uh, on things like college or cyber safety or driving safety. So they have a lot of, uh, of areas where they're really trying to help spread information. Um, they also are supporting programs for us here on campus where we are able to grow professionally and personally. So we definitely appreciate their support there. Uh, they are also very great at, at appreciating our staff in a variety of ways. Um, so we, really a nice boost to our staff when they're able to do that.
Uh, and they're also creating some stuff through career uh, exploration, including a job interview library that's going to be coming up really shortly. Um, here is some information for you if you want to definitely uh, get involved, and I encourage you to get involved because they're a great group. Um, you can see the various uh, websites on here, but again, if you just go to our website uh, and go to the parent portal, scroll down to get to PTSA, and you'll see uh, a lot of their information. So again, hope you get a chance to, to join the PTSA this year. Uh, the last thing I want to show you again is a, um, a, a, a presentation that's coming from our, our, the foundation, which is one of the parent programs I, I mentioned earlier. Uh, but on Thursday, September 17th, uh, from 6 to 7 o'clock, there's going to be a, uh, a presentation about how to navigate the college process. So again, I hope you keep an eye out for that, put that on your calendars, uh, and take advantage of some of the areas where you as a parent can get involved and learn more about our site and our district. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen here for a second. Uh, and again, just welcome you all to this, this year. Um, we have had a, a lot of ups and downs just in terms of having to deal with uh, what's happening in the world out there. But uh, again, as I said, I'm really proud of the way our staff, our students, our parents have reacted to support each other. Uh, and I encourage you to, you know, to look for ways that you can support each other or send us information. One of the key ways that we're dealing with um, getting information out to people is a survey called the Rosebud Thorn Survey. And that comes out every week in that weekly email blast that Tricia uh, sends out to you. And so please keep an eye out for that. But in that email, uh, you'll see the link to the survey. The survey allows you to throw out a rose, which is a, a you know, shout out or a thank you or an appreciation to our staff. And I'm glad to say we've got a lot of those. So, but keep the roses coming. Our staff really appreciates hearing uh, the support they're getting from you. Uh, a bud, if you have a bud, which is basically an idea or a suggestion that you'd like us to look into. Uh, and then also thorns, which are maybe a questions or concerns that we can answer for you. And I take all that information, put it into a weekly video and bring that to you so that you can hear directly from us and we can hear directly from you. Um, so again, without much further ado, I encourage you to check out your students' teachers. I also, there's a pre presentation from the guidance department. So please find that link as well and, and listen to that. Uh, we wish you the best of the year, and uh, we appreciate you coming to our virtual back-to-school night this year. So thank you, everybody. Have a good evening. Take care.